whether you're printing a decorative model, a functional part, or something truly unique, getting the right settings for your filament is crucial to creating the best print possible. Today we're diving into optimizing the print settings for the most popular types of filament. I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build. And today we're reviewing the settings for the most popular types of filament in 3D printing, everything from PLA to ABS to carbon fiber. I'm also going to show you how to quickly and easily get your filament settings into any slicer in order to get the most perfect prints. Overture was nice enough to send us all this filament in order to make this video. No, this is not a sponsored video by Overture, but they were just really cool and wanted to help us create a video that would be useful for everyone watching it. Now we have a lot of filament to get through. Let's start with PLA. PLA filament is the workhorse of 3D printing and it's what most of us print in. PLA is great for general purpose prints, great surface quality and easy printability. For PLA, stick with a nozzle temperature between 190 and 220 degrees Celsius and a bed temperature between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. These settings will give you consistent results without warping. Next up is Silk PLA. This PLA will give your prints a shiny, silky finish, making it ideal for decorative parts. A slightly higher nozzle temperature between 200 and 220 degrees Celsius helps maintain that smooth, silky texture. Lower speeds also enhance the details on your prints. PETG strikes a balance between strength and flexibility, making it great for functional parts, such as brackets, phone holders, things like that. When you're printing with PEGI, you're going to want your nozzle temperature between 220 and 250 degrees Celsius. And set your bed temperature between 70 and 80 degrees Celsius for better adhesion. PEGI also benefits from reduced cooling for stronger layer bonding. ABS is known for its durability and high temperature resistance. This filament is perfect for parts that need to withstand wear and tear. ABS requires a nozzle temperature between 230 and 250 degrees Celsius and a heated bed from about 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. Printing in an enclosure is recommended to help reduce warping. Flexible filament like TPU opens up a world of possibility for softer and more elastic parts. Keep your speeds low around 20 to 40 millimeters per second. And use minimum cooling to optimize results. TPU has a tendency to string a lot when you're printing with it, and these settings should help with a lot of that stringing. Carbon fiber PLA combines the ease of printing with PLA with strength and stiffness. It's perfect for lightweight, durable parts. Because of its abrasive nature, you'll always want to print with a hardened nozzle when you're printing with carbon fiber PLA to protect your printer. Finally, glow-in-the-dark PLA is great for adding some fun and flair to your 3D prints. Whether it's a decorative part, something you want to glow at night like a Halloween decoration, or a practical part, this filament will definitely give some style to your print. This PLA uses similar settings to standard PLA, but beware because sometimes glow-in-the-dark PLA could be a little rough on your printer's nozzle. Here's a quick overview of all the filaments and their recommended settings so you can easily find what works best for you. Now I know I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I was gonna show you an easy way to get your filament setting directly into your slicer. One of the most convenient features of the Overture filament is their downloadable JSON profiles for each filament. These profiles include pre-configured settings to make printing easier than ever. For instance, in a slicer like Bamboo Lab, there are some Overture settings, but not all of these filaments are pre-built in. In slicers like Bamboo Lab Studio and other slicer apps, you can import these filament settings directly. Open up your slicer, hit file, hit import config, now navigate to the correct configuration for your printer. Once you've imported it, you'll have access to that filament in your slicer as well as on your printer. All printers are slightly different. It's a huge time saver that ensures reliability and great results in your 3D prints. No matter your project, you need to choose the right filament for your job. By fine tuning your settings and using these convenient profiles, you can unlock the full potential of these materials and have amazing results. Thank you for watching this video and thank you to Overture for sending the filament in order for us to make this video. I'll link all the filaments in the description below. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, 
keep on making.